the work builds on the idea that it's not always easy to do the right thing. And when I say the right thing, I mean choosing an apple over a chocolate bar or putting your money into a savings account rather than buying some uh, new shoes. And I'm thinking um, of gender equality very much like I think about apples or how I think about putting your money into a savings account. Namely, many organizations now want to change, want to close gender gaps, partly because it is the right thing to do, but also because it increasingly is the smart thing to do. We now know that the talent pool is increasingly female, and therefore many companies look harder at their hiring and promotion practices asking the question of where are all these women graduates who now in many countries are more than their male counterparts, um, where do they go? Um, and how do they climb up the ladder in our company or in our organization? And so that's where gender quality nudges come into play because we would argue many of the decisions that are made are not made by people who want to actively discriminate but really they're made because of how our minds work. They're implicit biases which guide our judgments, not just related to gender, but related to all kinds of decisions that we make every day. And it's these implicit biases that we want to overcome with gender equality nudges. So nudges change the environment ever so slightly. They change organizational practices, they change how we hire, how we promote people creating a more equal playing field for men and women.